Hello everybody, my name is Sund, and today I want to talk to you about the current game I'm playing, which is Torchlight Infinite, actually, an ARPG that is not super well known, but has been steadily making its, uh, its content known, especially for the people that are right inside of the ARPG scene, and there's a bunch of content creators from other games that are now having a look and um, it's been a very interesting game to follow for the past couple of weeks i've been playing it and yeah uh hopefully you guys enjoy the showcase i have for you today so to start with the character i'm playing is one of the newest ascendancies it's called thea incarnation of the gods thea the whole idea is that she uses charges. She manipulates, or in this game they're called blessings, but if you're familiar with PoE, they're similar to charges. She naturally generates them at a rate of one every few seconds, uh, to the point where you can maintain permanent charges baseline from the get-go, which is phenomenal, makes for a super fluid gameplay right from the beginning. I love that. And uh, the Sendency that I'm playing specifically focuses mostly on tenacity and agility blessings. Now, I started by leveling it with the skill that you're given from the get go, which is a lightning projectile that bounces around and quickly swapped to Ice Ring very powerful for leveling especially with all the increased area of effect that you can get uh, on the passive tree if it levels very smoothly i took that all the way to 55 i believe at that point i swapped because i wanted to try to make the new lightning skill work the new shadow skill i didn't quite manage to do that after a few levels i wasn't really feeling it it didn't tick with me um, so I decided to move away from it and I saw some people were playing uh, this build which is I cannot pronounce the name of this skill I'm very sorry um, but it's very similar to totems from PoE if you're familiar with that um, and as soon as I started playing it I equipped a random bow with some fizz attack if you have some uniques you can use a plane echo very early on and if you have that that is gonna hold you until you can actually craft a bow very solid you need to use a bow or a crossbow for this skill specifically so no guns uh, but other than that you uh, slot in in the passive tree all the god of machines machinist and i went with onslaughter if you want to go with something more defensive you could potentially go with the druid but i wouldn't recommend it. I think the build is already very solid defensively. You don't need it. Onslaughter gives you a high amount of crit and that you can take advantage of and goes very well with Thea. So I would go with that. Other than that, in the passive tree, uh, this is not a proper guide, but f for a general tip, just click anything that's related to sentry. They scale very well from your attack speed, not minion attack speed, your own attack speed. So, attack damage, attack speed, cast speed for sentries, and any sentry damage, very good. Very, very good. Um, other than that, the only thing you're really looking for, they don't scale with projectiles, so no point in using um, LMP or GMP no point on getting plus one projectiles in your weapons at all. All you're looking for, flat damage, added damage to gear, attack speed, crit, and that should be it as far as I can tell. More testing will be done from my side to make sure before I actually put out a guide, um, but so far this is what I found. Other than that, I just socketed all the projectile support gems plus mark and the sentry 
projectiles. And that was my six link, very strong. You need very little other than that. I'm currently progressing, uh, trying to get to time mark seven. I haven't killed the final, quote unquote, final boss yet. Uh, once I do, hopefully I'll be able to bring a proper guide, a full guide uh, to the channel for this build. But so far, phenomenal build, very solid, works probably while leveling as well. I didn't try it because I was leveling with something else and I didn't realize how interesting that sk this skill was until I actually gave it a try. Um, so hopefully if you guys want to give it a try, let me know how powerful it is while leveling. If you don't own the new Thea, I think there's a there's a ascendancy that you could play from the base ones, because if you don't know in Torchlight, some of the characters need to be bought. Uh, the one that I'm playing currently needs to be bought. So for a free one, a Little Flash Carino, I believe it's the name. It's a blonde boy with the pistols. Um, I haven't tried it, so I don't know how it works with the class gauge, but um, he scales very well with projectile damage, and this is a projectile, so I don't see why it wouldn't be strong as well. So for f for another possible, possibly better even, ascendancy, you could go with that. Um, and yeah, that's it so far. Very nice build, very new player friendly. It's a totem, it stays there, attacks the targets, they're immune, they can be killed. So you don't need to worry about that. You just need to worry about dodging stuff. Very good, very solid. If you're looking for a build to try Torchlight for the first time, maybe go with that. It's my recommendation. It's been very strong. Any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.